guys, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to talk about sustainable makeup, sustainable beauty, um, kind of non-synthetic, you know, good for the environment sort of beauty. Um, I recently did a natural or non-toxic deodorant video. I was trying out natural slash non-toxic deodorants. It was a long, long trip. It was a long journey, but it paid off because I was able to see what deodorants were the best um, and the best for your body, the best for the environment. I'll link that video up in the eye. I highly, highly suggest you go watch that video. It took me a long time, but I felt like I was able to really tell you what the best of the best was in my personal opinion um, and good things, bad things and brands we should be looking out for that are cruelty free, that are, you know, non-toxic, that don't hurt the planet, that don't hurt us. And I just think it's important to be more cognizant of what's in our products anyway, regardless of if you want to make a change or not. We need to be a little bit more aware of brands that are out there that are really trying to pave the way in natural beauty. Through that I found brands that do non-toxic beauty, that is their whole gig. And um, one brand that I was particularly interested in was Dr. Hauschka. Now, um, my friend actually works at Dr. Hauschka, so she actually gave me a few little bits, a few little bit like star products or hero products um, that she said that I must try out if I'm gonna do a video like this. I thought I would try kind of as much Dr. Hauschka as I can here. I've got some skincare, some makeup removal, some makeup bits. A few bits are limited edition. I feel like they do a lot of limited edition stuff. So that kind of does suck a little bit. And I think as feedback, I've I've used a couple of these products once or twice. Some of them I haven't used at all. So I wanted to save a couple first impressions, but some things I'm like, how is this limited edition? And this is amazing. Why the hell would you make this limited edition? Dr. Hauschka is available on Look Fantastic, Feel Unique, uh, Beauty Bay, obviously on their own website. I'm unsure of anywhere else, but those four places I know for sure you can get it and it's very accessible. And to be honest, Look Fantastic, Feel Unique and Beauty Bay always have discounts. So maybe you should look out for a discount, something like that if you just want to dip your toe in. Um, but I thought we should just sit down today, kind of do like a one brand review. I suppose you could call it that, but I enjoyed the deodorant so much. I mean, spoiler for my deodorant video, but you know, still go watch it. I, I haven't told you where it came in my favorites, but it was one of my favorites um, and I really, really liked it. I really, really liked the ethics and story behind the brand. So Dr. Hauschka is a German brand um, and you'll know that because all over their products it's got German on one side and then English on the other. I did used to speak a bit of German back at school. I did like German lessons, so <laughs> this is, is going to be a test. But I can like get a few words like face, the, and. <laughs> Every product that goes into this, so for instance, their rose cream, their rose day cream, is a hero product. Um, and they actually grow the roses themselves in a garden in Germany. They have their own gardens for like all their herbs, their flowers. So everything that goes into their products is naturally sourced, it's sustainable. It's just, it's just really great. And I just really loved that story. And no, some products aren't vegan, but I've said this in so many videos, just because something says vegan on it, does not mean it's good for the planet, okay? Vegan means it's not come from an animal. It does not mean it's good for the environment. When we use the word vegan, it doesn't always mean cruelty free. When we use the word vegan, it doesn't mean that it's gonna break down in the environment. When we use the word vegan, it's usually synthesized chemicals um, to replicate a natural thing. So beeswax, for example, if you're going to have beeswax in a product, it could not be classed as vegan because it's a byproduct of a bee. But beeswax breaks down naturally and is, you know, it's, it, I wouldn't say it's like he healthy for you, but it's not bad for you. It's not bad for your body and it's not bad for the environment when it breaks down. So when you wash it off, it doesn't damage the environment, but it cannot be classed as vegan because it's a byproduct of an animal. However, if you synthesized that same structure of beeswax to put into a product, um, it, it would be a chemical and therefore it would damage the environment and actually it would not give you the same benefits as beeswax would. I know I'm just trying to give you that example of beeswax because it's easy to imagine it in your mind of some beeswax and synthesized chemicals and how you can understand that one will break down into the environment and one just won't. So I'm very, <laughs> those buzzwords don't excite me. I get excited by non-toxic, synthetic free, um, natural preservatives, sustainable, you know, cruelty free. I look for those buzzwords because those buzzwords are in essence what we're looking for. So yeah, mini lesson. I mean, don't get angry with me if you know better or if you disagree with me, that's fine. 
I'm just telling you what I know, so just saying. So okay, without further ado, I'm gonna crack on with this because I've been literally blabbering on. Um, today, the first thing I did was I toned my face. I toned it. Now, I'm terrible with facial toner because, yes, I am lazy. I, I, sometimes I can't be bothered to get a, like a cotton pad. I have reusable cotton pads. Um, and sometimes I can't be bothered to get one out and wet it and apply it all over my face because I'm lazy. I just, I'm like, oh, just apply facial cream and be done with it. But this one, this one, I actually have the box for it here. I kept the box deliberately so I could tell you like ingredients and everything. Obviously it's 100% certified natural ingredients, um, free from synthetic fragrances and dyes and preservatives. So it is pretty, it's pretty healthy for you. You know, it's pretty good for your skin. Um, and it just comes in this spray bottle. It looks gorgeous. It's got glass packaging. A lot of the packaging I've noticed is either post-consumer recycled glass or aluminium so it's either made from recyclable material so you can recycle it or it has been made from recycled materials and i'm not sure if you can recycle post-consumer recycled things i'm saying recycled a lot but basically the packaging has been thought through they haven't just cast packaging and put new plastic in it and gone there we go they've thought about things they've got glass bottles aluminium tubes post-consumer recycled plastic if you don't know what that means it basically means when we give our plastic to be recycled it's made out of that so it's good it's like a feel good product you know um so this facial toner just looks like this it's kind of like this yellowy consistency kind of looks like we i'm not gonna lie to you okay looks a little bit like we but guess what guys, can you see that? It comes in a spray bottle. Now this spray is actually really, really nice. Like the mist is really nice. And for me, a facial toner with a spray, I mean, am I stupid? Did I not realize that these existed? Maybe they do and I'm just not really looking for them because I'm terrible at toning my face. But watch this. I did miss that first spray. I just got it all over my wrist. But basically, it's just as easy as that. Now. I just get a little fan right now because I love fanning my face anyway. I love that cool wind on my face. And now that's done. I've toned my face. I don't have to rub anything in. I can literally just spray it over and then go brush my teeth and then put some moisturizer on and be done. I love this. I actually don't know the prices of everything. Like I couldn't turn it off the top of my head. Um, but like I said, they are very accessible. If prices bother you, that's fine. Wait for a coupon code. They sell on sites that do sales all the time. Keep your eye out, you know? Um, but I'll leave prices and links or descriptions, should I say, down below um, if you want to know how much these are. But I really, really like this. It smells just like, you only got like a, a vase of flowers and they're all mixed together and you don't really know which one smells great, but you know something in there just smells great. It just smells like that. It just smells lovely and fresh and natural it doesn't smell synthetic obviously because it doesn't have anything synthetic in it but i really really like this product it does say limited edition i'm not sure how limited that is i mean some brands say limited edition and then they keep it for six months so i'm not sure how limited this is and then next up my friend said i had to try the rose day cream and she recommended the rose day cream light for me there's like a heavy and light version so one's more thick and nourishing and one's more light um I'm not sure what the thick one does. I think it's just more of like a like it really sits on you, whereas the light one really is kind of a bit more watery and a little bit more thinner. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to my face. I want to take about a pea-sized amount. It's very very nourishing. I've used this maybe four or five times now, like a few times just underneath my makeup to see how my makeup responded to it. It's one of those. Um, it's like an aluminium tube, and you know when you get a tomato puree um, like tube like this. And you have to pierce it with the bottle that's exactly what you have to do with this one so this is post-consumer recycled lid i believe uh, made from milk bottles and then obviously the aluminium tube if you make sure it's all kind of like used up you can recycle it in certain recycling facilities so that's awesome it's better for the environment i can't actually see what i'm doing i've got no mirror but this is just a really really nice moisturizer really really lovely on the skin you can feel it nourishing it doesn't feel oily at all it just feels lovely and nourishing and the scent of rose isn't too strong to the point that makes you feel sick you know in some really bougie brands like YSL Chanel do like rose and it's so like I can't do you know what I mean it's just like <coughs> that's the sort of sensation you get whereas this one is just like a 
it's like you've got really strong roses in a vase and you keep getting a whiff of it do you know what i mean it's just really really lovely and nourishing so i've been really i've just got moisturizer in my hair but i've been really really liking this one i've only applied it like i said a handful of times but so far i've been really enjoying it i think it's got marshmallow in i read on the box that marshmallow in this which is kind of funny so it says for dry sensitive skin it's got rose marshmallow and anthelis protect calm and balance for a radiant complexion and i feel it does exactly that so all of dr Hauschka products are very um very plain packaging it's kind of very how do i descri describe it it's kind of like very spa like if it's very everything here is a very spa like sort of sensation a little bit like ren beauty um if you're familiar with that it's kind of a very similar market of dr Hauschka. um and if you'd like to see any other brands by the way in this sort of kind of a roundup review and just talking about particular products that's cool just put it down in the comments and i can totally do that um but like ren beauty is kind of similar with a very spa very scientific very clean looking packaging um i don't hate it i think sometimes it can be a little bit boring when brands do this but to be honest for moisturizers and things like that i actually quite like clean looking products i don't need the gimmick so yeah very nice product i really like that i didn't see a foundation on beauty bay's website when i had to have a look but it might be on look fantastic or feel unique i just didn't have a look like properly um but that's fine to be honest i wasn't really in the market to buy another foundation i've got so many and to be honest with you like we didn't need to try everything if i was going to try everything for dr house i think i would be a little bit broke because they're not exactly the cheapest brand in the world um but they're very affordable so i'm just going to take a pump of the ColourPop pretty fresh foundation because it's obviously it's i mean it's not a natural foundation or anything so we're not really keeping in the rhythm with it but it, it's it's a very light foundation and we're not going to have a full coverage face with natural products um so this dr Hauschka translucent bronzing tint um my friend said i had to try this because she said she applies this all over her face she has got a bit of a darker complexion than me um but this just one pump of this and apply it all over the face can give you a really bronzy look or mix it in with a foundation which is what i'm going to do now so i'm going to take one pump of this and then just stir it together on the back of my hand i have used this a few times probably maybe two or three times and just used it as like a bronzer all over the face and um, without blusher and i really really like it now this is going to look really really daring so on the back of my hand it's going to look like the complete wrong colour but it just blends into the face so nicely and I was so surprised because when I saw it on the back of my hand I was like whoa this is way too dark for me but because it kind of just sinks into the skin really nice it gives you that bronzed look without looking orange you know so I really, really like it it smells gorgeous I don't even know what it smells like but it just smells so nice so i'm just gonna apply this all over my face and even out my complexion a little bit um and this mixes with products really well like i said i have used it by itself and i really liked it by itself i applied it just to the perimeters of my face with a sponge i'm gonna take the pretty fresh um color pop concealer and just apply a little bit of concealer because i've got very dark under eyes i've always had dark under eyes and very red nose I find that this bronzing fluid, sometimes I'll just drag a little bit of this down the neck, which I'm going to do in a minute and show you, and it just looks one with my face without having to add any coverage. It just adds a bit of warmth and healthy glowness to it, which I really, really like. I'm going to be using this Illumination Fluid. It's kind of like a natural highlighter. Mine's in the shade 01. I think there was two shades. I'm not entirely sure, but I've used this a couple of times and I really enjoyed it. So I'm just going to do like a full pump of this. It just looks like this. Let me just take a bit off the pile for me to swatch. It's really, really sheeny, really beautiful, and actually a really gorgeous liquid highlighter, and you can just rub it in. Look how lovely that looks. It looks so natural. And because it is all na natural beauty, it looks really natural on the face. Now, I personally prefer to take liquid highlighters like this on a sponge. I find that on a brush, I lose a bit of control. Um, and I'm just gonna go on the high points of my cheek as I would with any highlighter. What I like about this product is when you turn your face, there's no, like you, whoa, look at that. Like it's really glowy. But when you look straight on, you can't see some sort of under, there's no, not undertone, there's no like base color to it. So it just looks so natural. So when you're standing there, your face just looks naturally glowy. This is gorgeous on the decolletage. Like I've actually put a little bit too much on my hand right now, which is kind of annoying, but this is actually gorgeous on the collarbone. Like it looks stunning on the collarbone. Um, so I really, really like this product. It is buildable. I wouldn't say it's like the most, 
it's not like a blinding highlight it's a dewy glowy gorgeous natural highlight you can see it the proof's in the pudding i'm literally trying to use as much of this highlight as i can because i dolloped too much on the back of my hand like an idiot um but that's okay that's okay we'll just use it wherever you would naturally glow and they also sell quite a few blushes but i feel like i've got so many blushes and things like that just like none of them really screamed and excited me um and face powders they've got but again like i didn't really want a face powder I didn't buy everything is what I'm trying to say. I just bought a few things that really caught my attention. And um, they have this bronzing glow powder like stick thing, but it comes in like this brush. Now I wanted to test this because apparently like the powders in the product, you just got to swirl it around and the bronzer will come out. Is that, is it working? Oh yeah, it's working. Like you've got to, interesting. Oh, I can see the product like fluffing out. Can you see that? I'm not sure, but oh, it smells very expensive. Hmm, okay, let's try it. I just want to like focus this on. Wow, no, it is coming through. Interesting. I know I've highlighted, but because I've put like a glowy product on everywhere, it just doesn't really matter to be honest. So I'm just applying this. And this is a powder product, which is why I put the creams on first. Whoops. Okay, hang on, hang on. Wait, this isn't as easy as I thought. I'm gonna just take this brush, there's nothing on it. I'm just taking it kind of blend that out because I was not about to have a dodgy nose contour after it was going so well. I'm not quite sure that I like the brush on this. Like I think it's just a little bit, um, it like dollops product on in a weird fashion. Like can you see that? So like you have to get a brush to then blend it all out, which I suppose that's kind of beside the point of having it in a brush. I'm just not sure on the applicator. Like, wouldn't this get really messed up? Like, you couldn't wash this, could you? So, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the applicator, guys. I'm going to be honest. Um, but I was intrigued by it. I was intrigued about how this would work. I think if Dr. House could have other bronzers, like that bronzing tint, love that. But um, if they have other bronzer, like powder bronzers, maybe try those out. But I'm not sure about the applicator on this because you wouldn't be able to wash it. And I find that a bit bothersome. Dr. Hauschka did have some eyeshadow palettes. They were like eyeshadow trios and like a triangle design. I thought they were quite expensive for what they were. They were £22 for three shadows. And if I'm going to be honest, like none of the colours excited me that much. Like I'd rather just apply a bronzer through the crease. Actually... We're going to apply a little bit of this bronzer to the eyes. I've just thought that's kind of a good idea. I'm just going to wash this over the eyes in a very messy fashion. As kind of like a base. Because I didn't pick up any of their eyeshadow palettes. But I've got some eyeshadow crayons that they have. And they were kind of some cool colours. So I thought we could do like a very natural look. I was actually going to just apply a Project Pan bronzer that I had. But let's just apply this in the eyes. Because it's all on a brush. We can kind of work that into my socket so i've got like these eye crayon duos so they're just wooden pencils um i've got number one and number two that's all they were called um so this is eyeshadow duo one and it's kind of like this bluey green color i will swatch it in a second and on the other side is like this brown so let me just swatch that for you so this is like the bluey color on one side and then the brown on the other I need to put the lid on before I smush them because that would be to so typical me. So we've got like the blue and brown. This is actually really nice because you could smush that on the lower lash line. Or like just rub it into the sort of lashes itself. And then we've got Eye Duo 2 which is like a white shade. And is that green? I think it is green. I'm pretty sure one of them is green. I'm hoping it's green. Yeah, this is the green one. And I really, really like this one um, with the white as well. So that's that one there. I think I'm going to use these two today with a bit of that brown, like the green, the brown and the white. Um, but the white is actually like a pearly shade. So I'm going to use that for an inner corner highlight and then use the green and kind of like smudge the green and the brown all over my like uh, lash line. So I'm going to take that brown from iGuo One and kind of just smudge it on my lash line. And then we're going to get a brush and really smudge it in. Okay, I've just brought you in a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing. And then I'm just taking this on the lower lash line. Trying to keep it quite neat here because I'm going to just keep the lower lash line um, quite bare apart from this brown. And I'm just going to rub it back and forth just to blend it out a bit. I want like smokiness to be taken up on most of the lid. 
and just blend out the edges. Cool, and then I'm gonna use the green one in Duo 2. I mean, I could use the blue, but I'm not really feeling a turquoise blue right now. And I'm gonna try and get this really tight to the upper lash line. I'm just gonna let that dry down a little bit more because I want to really smudge it, but I don't wanna smudge it upwards and I feel like I'm not gonna be very controlled with it. So I'm gonna just take that pearlier white shade and whilst I'm waiting for that green one to dry a bit, I'm just gonna apply some of this in the inner corner just dragging it in my lower bit of my tear duct here as well and then a tiny bit on the brow bone and I'm just gonna like tap that out we did apply some of that luminizing product earlier but why not apply this up here as well I'm just gonna tap out my finger but like I said because it's nice and emollient you can tap it out if you immediately like do it immediately after I'm just gonna wiggle this and tap so gently on my top lash line now Dr. Hauschka have like different mascaras and they had a blue, a brown and a black one when I saw it. Um, but there was this limited edition one that I bought a while ago. Um, and it's just the volume mascara in the shade 4 but it's like a greeny one. It's like a turquoisey green. Look how cool this is. And I was going to buy the brown mascara in this but then I actually already have the Colourpop brown mascara. So I was thinking I'd do brown mascara on top and maybe bluish mascara on the bottom. It might look a bit crazy but we're here. We're going to test it so why not. Um, so I want to apply the Colourpop Brown Mascara on my upper lash line and then the blue one on the bottom. Oh my god, that's crazy. The only criticism I have to make about this mascara is it's very, very wet. So you've got to be very careful about how you apply this. Otherwise it's going to end up everywhere. It's a very, very, very wet formula. So um, I'm just having to like wipe as much as I can off the brush before I apply it just because I don't really want it to go everywhere. I've got some lipsticks that they had, like liquid lipstick sort of products. And um, this is still available on their website, like a lot of this makeup is still available on their website, which is why I don't really understand like, the whole limited edition thing. Um, I've got two, they're in like this triangular packaging. Um, let me just swatch them on the back of my hand so you can have a look. I've got like a nudia shade and like a reddier shade. Number four is like the peachy shade and number three is like the pinky shade. I think I'm gonna go for the peach because I think a pink wouldn't necessarily go with this look. I think it would look a little bit crazy. So I'm gonna apply this like peachy color. First, I'm just gonna rub off any uh, foundation that I might have got on my lips. They do own a lip balm, but I have literally so many lip balms that I was not getting another one. Um, I'm just gonna exfoliate my lips with a funnel. So I'm gonna apply this color all over my lips. It feels like very glossy. Oh, it's gorgeous colour. Ooh. Oh my god, it smells like licorice. Mmm. It smells like licorice, and I love that. Okay, so I've just fluffed a little bit more brow pencil through my brows just because after all of that foundation and stuff, it just kind of went away. But this is the final look. I actually really, really like it. I think it's a very... Well... It's, it's natural, okay? Like, I look natural. I look like I've got a bit of eyeshadow on, obviously, a lip product on. But I feel like I look very glowy, healthy skin, healthy complexion. I feel like I look very just the average girl wanting to look cute and preppy for the day. Everything here, I think, is pretty cool. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to apply these crayons to my eyes on a daily basis. However, they're the sort of products that if you've got a more, more mature eyelid um, or you don't want eyeshadow you don't like eyeshadow you don't like too much fuss I think these are lovely just to really just rub all over your lid and just pat out with your finger um of course I liked the bronzing powder in this thing but I didn't like its applicator so I probably wouldn't recommend it on the basis that I didn't like its applicator if I was going to recommend you a few things I've just tried in front of you today it would be the facial toner spray I know it's a limited edition but I'm unsure if they still sell this. I hope that they do. But if you can get your hands on it, I would highly suggest doing that. I would also recommend the bronzing fluid, um, just because I love that. I think this is brilliant. As soon as this runs out, I'm going to repurchase another one. I absolutely love this. I love the Rose Day Cream as well. I think it's so light. It was just so nourishing. Everything laid up nicely on top of it. Nothing pilled. Everything just worked beautifully. It was a beautiful product. And the makeup, I've got to say, I love the lip colours. Like, they feel so nourishing. They've got a nice colour to them. They look lovely and I really, really like them. And um, the crayons, again, really, really lovely. I probably wouldn't buy more, but I would definitely use them and I really appreciate them and I can appreciate why people would like them. And obviously the mascara, I probably wouldn't apply blue teal mascara on a daily basis, but I actually quite like the formula. It is a very wet formula, so I had to scrape off a lot of it, but 
it's still like holding onto my lash and it's still offering me some colour so maybe I should have bought a brown mascara and just applied it all over my lashes but I wanted something different. We also use the illuminating fluid which I believe they still sell this, it's on their website and this is so gorgeous, like this is so gorgeous, it's capturing the light beautifully, it's such a natural highlight. If you're afraid of highlight, I've still got like tons of swatches on the back of my hand, if you're afraid of highlight and you just want like a glowy product and you're not sure that you, like, you don't want anything too metallic, you don't want anything sparkly. This is just gorgeous, like it just offers such a beautiful thing on the face. So, I mean, I kind of deviated from that, but if you can get your hands on it, I'd recommend the illuminating fluid, the toner, the bronzing fluid, um, yeah, bronzing tint, bronzing tint, sorry, and the rose day cream. I really, really love it. I think these products are really, really lovely. Definitely look out for Christmas time. They do bundles at Christmas, um, and definitely look on, look fantastic, feel unique, Beauty Bay because they do those sorts of discounts that you can probably get a couple of things on discount for. And um, if you'd like to see another sort of one brand roundup from another brand, just tell me that down below and I can look into it and buy a few products. Like I said, I didn't have everything from Dr. House here today, but I just wanted to pick a few bits to sample it. But if you want me to do that with another brand, just tell me down below which brand you would like to see from. Um, and then I can completely do that. That's absolutely cool. I really like experimenting with natural beauty and sustainable beauty. So yeah, I'd like to explore some more brands. So if you'd like me to do that, just tell me down below and I will will go purchase the following products. Thank you guys for watching, I really really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos that I upload. I upload every single week and you wouldn't want to miss out on more content from me. No you would not. No you would not. Thumbs up this video if you have enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Bye!